3.4. Use ratio to find the coordinates of a point on a line given two others. Okay, this is part of my ultimate revision guide for further maths GCSE. It's the coordinate geometry section. Here we have an index button that takes you back to the index of coordinate geometry. And down here, any exam questions that I have done on this topic, I'll put links to down here. Okay, so the things we need to know. We need to know how to use the formula for the coordinates of midpoints. Um, essentially, that's what you, all you've got to do there is to add the two coordinates. So x, add the two coordinates and divide by two, and that will give you the midpoint. And the same for the y coordinates. Okay, I mean you call that a formula, but it's it's fairly obvious that's what you've got to do. Uh, use a given ratio to work out the coordinates of the points given to the points. So um, when something's in the ratio one to one, then you're going to find the midpoint because it's halfway across. But if it's a different ratio. When you find the midpoint, you're halving, so you find a fraction. When you're using a different ratio, so say we're using a ratio of 1 to 2, then this, this part of the line is going to be one third of the line, and this part is going to be 2 thirds. So essentially, it's just changing a ratio into a fraction and working out that fraction of how far across you're going to go from one point to the other. OK, um, so we can use the formula. Uh, can be used, but it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you how to do it without a formula. I don't tend to. I don't actually know a formula for this. Just I just look at the things and work them out using the ratios given. Okay, so the two examples we're going to go through. Um, so have a go at those, and then I'll go through them in when you've finished. Okay, here we go. Question one. So C is 6, 2. The midpoint of C, D is that. Work out the coordinates of D. So C is at 6, 2. And the midpoint of C, D is at 8, minus 4. So it's going to be further across and down. And so that's C. That's the midpoint. And then we want D, which is going to be over here. And we've got to try and work out this. OK, so all we've got to do here, because this is the midpoint, how far across have we gone? We've got to cross 2. And we've come down from 2 to minus 4, which is down 6. So we just got to do that again because it's just repeated. It's halfway. Just do it again. So we're going to cross 2, down 6. No formula required. Uh, so we're going to cross to 10. And we're coming down another 6 to minus 10. So the coordinates of D are 10, minus 10. OK. Um, this one, A and B. A point C is such that it's in the ratio of this, so if we've got A and B, A is minus 4, 15. Um, C is across, uh, B is across and down, so it's, uh, B is going to be over here at 10, minus 6. So if we're figuring out how, um, we've got a line going across from here to here. And it's going to be split into the ratio 4 to 3 to get a point C. So this side, this is going to be 4 to this 3. So what fraction of the way across is this point? Well, this point is 4 out of 7 across. So it's 4 sevenths of the way across and the way down. So, so to work that out, we just work out how far across we're going. So we're going from 40, uh, minus 4 to 10. So let's actually just write, draw another separate diagram for how far across and down we're going from A to B. So we're going um, 14 across and we're coming down from 15 to minus 6, that's 21 down. So if we split that into sevenths, this is, this, each seventh is going to be 2 in this direction and 3 in this direction. And we want 4 sevenths. So we want 4 sevenths of 14, which is just going to be 8. And we want 4 sevenths of 21 which is just going to be 12. So we're going across 8 and down 12. So we're going across 8. So our x coordinate is going to be minus 4 plus 8, which is going to be 4. And our y coordinate is going to be 15. And we're coming down 12. So we're going to take away 12, which is 3. So our coordinate for c is going to be 4, 3. So no real use of formulas there, just work out the fraction of, the, of how far across you're going to go. The ratio tells you the fraction of how far across and down you need to go. So 4 out of 7 across, 4 sevenths are going across, and 4 sevenths coming down. Okay, so no special form is actually needed here, I don't think. Um, just got to be able to deal with uh, fractions and ratios. <laughs>